Tonight's story, AI is taking American jobs and what that means for the economy. Nope. No, it's not that. I saw this video of an AI solving a Where's Waldo puzzle faster than a human, and it made me irrationally angry. Yep, that's what we're doing tonight. That's, that's stupid. Got it. We put it in our cars, we put it in our factories, and now we're putting it in our fun. AI is taking over the nation and devaluing the human experience. Whatever, whatever that means. This is the port of Rar, Rar, one of those cold countries. You know how many people work here? Zero. It's just fucking Wally robot putting boxes onto other Wally robot. But by far the most egregious use of artificial intelligence is when we put it in shit it doesn't need to be, i.e. why is it solving where's Waldo puzzles? It freaks me out. And to top it all off, it's not even that good at it. Humans can do it better. I will prove to you that humans can do it better. But I needed evidence to back up my claims, so I set out to find the truth. Let's take a look at this robot. It uses a vision system and Google Cloud machine learning platform to identify Waldo's position on the page. It then sends that position to a robot arm which moves over to that position on the page, which is very impressive if you're an asshole. But in reality, they're cutting the video because the AI takes too long to do its thing. If we look in the description, the creators themselves admit that the robot takes five seconds start to finish to find where's Waldo, which if we compare to human time to find where's Waldo is about twice as fast. The small hiccup, that's okay. It's not supposed to be fucking faster. So what we can assume is the people they tested to get this number were shitters. They didn't have the right incentive, they didn't have the right training to find Where's Waldo fast enough. We can give them that training. I had no idea how to give them that training, but such a small obstacle wouldn't dissuade me from figuring out how to make the perfect Where's Waldo player. So there's this guy named Pavlov, right? He like trained dogs to do something. I don't know, I skimmed the book. Two types of reinforcement, right? One where you reward the person for completing a task, and one where you punish them for failing it. You need to choose one of those types for training people in Where's Waldo. Positive reinforcement? That shit's hard. What do you like? Are you cat person, dog person? I don't fucking know. I don't want to get to know you, but there is one thing everyone understands, and that's pain, which is why we're going with negative reinforcement, which is why we need this. You're supposed to ask why we need this. Why do we need a Michael? You already fucking ruined the- <laughs> The idea is to make the chair hurt people so that we can condition them to play Where's Waldo better. We're going to accomplish this by throwing a bunch of electronics onto it and calling it, I don't know, an electric chair. Chair, fucking done. Control it wirelessly over the network from any fuck from anywhere. Cause I programmed a web server onto it, which I did over on my Twitch channel, which is where I go when I get tired of reading your shitty robot ideas. Now I can read shitty robot ideas live. I can't fucking escape. I can't escape. I wonder what it feels like. With the chair completed, the only thing left to do is to create the perfect training software for our Where's Waldo players. This is one of those eye trackers that streamers use when they're trying not to look at ass or titties on the internet. With this, we can detect exactly where a test subject's eyes are looking anywhere on the screen. So we can combine that with the software I wrote, which prompts you with a random Where's Waldo puzzle and test to see if you can find Waldo within 60 seconds. If you can, great. If you can't, Welcome to my Where's Waldo testing room. Our state-of-the-art equipment ensures you're gonna improve at the game. Walking in and looking at the chair, I'm already just like, fuck you, what the fuck? Sit down in my Where's Waldo training chair. Are those tasers? Sit down in my- Ah, shit, this Wait. looks like an electric chair, Michael. Keep your hands on the training taser pads. You're gonna put your Where's Waldo gaming headset on. These are your eyes. It's a little racist, so. Oh, man. What? This isn't- Open it up! That is really cool. It's really cool, right? You'll notice the calm, relaxing music that makes it a little easier. Now there's gonna be a small audio cue where it tells you- Oh my you, god, what the fuck is that? Where it, well, it tells you that you're running out of time. So you're gonna want to find where else Waldo- Oh my god, I can't hear you! Something. What the fuck is going on? Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck! The music isn't helping, Michael. Well, it's to show that you have less time. Honey, you gotta find me. <laughs> You'll notice nice calming music. Oh, good job. You get a nice happy sound effect as well every time. Wait, this more? No problem, this one more. No, we did this one. We did this one. Uh, Michael, this we did this post. one. I'm, I just I'm, don't remember what it I'm was. Fully sure I did this one. Did I did this one. I'm I'm sure. <laughs> you have five seconds. Hey, oh. Oh, it's okay. Wait, I'm not looking at it. Get Shit! I didn't expect people to be this good. I'm not this good at Where's Waldo. 
Ten seconds. She got even better. Oh, thank fucking God. All thanks to the Where's Waldo <laughs> training platform. <laughs> fucking ease of use. Anyone can be better than a robot at Where's Waldo. I'm so traumatized. How do I go back to regular? Do you feel like you're better at the game? No, the pressure just makes it harder. It had the opposite effect. I hadn't considered that. So, thank you for coming. Thank you. What was the video about? I think it's like humans are better than robots or something. That works. I just wanted to electrocute people. Thank you for watching the video. It's been a while since I've uploaded. I've been pretty busy playing Minecraft. Anyway, if you like it, like it. If you didn't like it, fuck off. Oh, I stream on Twitch now. It's mostly just hanging out for video games. Sometimes I do tech stuff. Oh, this fucking, I built this grill on stream. The chat can set it off. It's fucking badass. So if you guys get bored in the six months between my uploads, you can check that out. Uh, thank you for watching. I think there's a sponsorship on this video. This war crime has been sponsored by Honey, but I've never watched a YouTube video in my life. What does Honey do? Honey is a free online browser extension that automatically applies coupon codes when you go to check out online. Let's say you wanna buy a chair that for whatever reason doesn't electrocute you. Well, you can just shop normally for a chair and then at checkout, you hit this button that says apply coupons. Wait a few seconds and then boom, you saved like fucking $40 and you did nothing. You did what? You hit a button. It's such a low effort way to save money. In fact, the people using my link have already saved over $400,000 or so I've been told by the Honey marketing team if they're not liars. But Michael, what do you use it for? Good question, Honey advertising team. I've answered that question six times already. I use it for really cheap Chinese electronic sites like Banggood, AliExpress, the other one that I can't pronounce. But it works anywhere. I think they're like, what? like 10,000 sites or some shit? I'm lying, I'm a liar. There are 30,000 sites that it works on, Jesus. Including this one, that one, that one, that one. I just install it on my web browser, forget about it until I check out, and then save money randomly here and there. Honey is free to use, you just gotta go to joinhoney.com slash Reeves, do two clicks, and it's ready to go. That's joinhoney.com slash Reeves. Thank you for watching the video.